the session before, but you were in attendance, so um, Adam can fill you in on what happened. Still, <laughs> uh, vaguely. Um, so what happened? Me, uh, Pigu, and Viso ended up flying to the, the the Sky Castle, for lack of a better term. Well, it was just um, a really tall tower. At, like, all right, really tall tower. My apologies. Um, so we ended up making it to the the uh, tower, and we ended up getting fucking uh, barraged by a bunch of those like <clears throat> uh, those uh, vultures and the uh, the women of the dead seed. Um, and then Quick Ben and a bunch of the uh, Malazans came to help us out. Uh, and then uh, we tried to rescue you and that we found out we were too late um so i forget where ozo was teleported to oh wait, wait. He, he he will he will learn that very short so so this right now is basically what's happening for doing stuff you're still in Is slowly but surely cr- crushing your bone, you're and as your down. bones. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Any better now? Yep. Okay, sorry. It's because when I have headphones in, I cut out for some reason. It's really weird. Um, but anyway, you're in the arms of the Kashane male matron now. And she's slowly crushing the bone, and as your bones are snapping and breaking, Penny and Seer is waving his hand. And they're beginning to heal back in place. So your bones are beginning to heal all mouth as you're crushed and stuff. And just then, oh, there God. is a rapping at the door. And the Panion Seer goes, What is it? I'm busy! And in walks Anister, um, first child of the Dead Sea. And the Seer turns around and goes, What is it, Anister? Holy One, we have been driven from the city of Kapustan. Teneskrauri are reeling, and, and Septark Ulamap has lost the way with the battle. We we are retreating. Acceptable! Anastar, you will bring your Teneskrauri south. You will bring me the sword, Dragnapur. You will bring me Kaladan Bru. Warhammer, and you will bring me this still living shield and bullet Cobian who had given you so much trouble, and any other rabble rousers that you may find deeming of mother's attention. You have such a rabble rouser right now. Yes, I know, this is Piku Poblox, and he will suffer, suffer greatly. I'm not Piku. He tells you the truth, Holy One. What? You would betray me as well, Anastar? No, no, of course not, Holy One. But this one was with the one we seek. He took part in killing Mother and Captain. Might I have leave to eat his flesh, Holy One? No, 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 no. As much as you may have loved your mother, I despise the woman, and I'm grateful she is gone. And you can see, like, there's a bit of hurt across Anister's face right now. But he kind of, like, pulls himself together, and he's like, Well, he must be punished nonetheless. Yes, and he is being punished. Would you prefer something else? Did you have something else in mind, my dear first child? Yes, Sia. I suggest the people. Oh, the people, Beetle. It's been many, a, many a year since I've tortured someone with such a vicious device. Mother, bring me Sam. And you're gonna be like dropped to the floor. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Pretty much. So you were telling the truth to me. Huh. So, you do tell the truth. This is good. This is good. 
I'm in pain. Fetch the paper beetle. <laughs> and these guys are gonna like. Uh, these women are gonna come and hold you down. <laughs> and two molesters carrying a cage, and the other one comes back carrying a box. Um, these two walk over to you, and they place the cage over your head and lock it in place. No! And they're gonna step away, and this one's gonna walk up carrying the box. And the Penion Seer is gonna walk up to you and go, Now, Ozzo, is it? Where is Pigu Poblox? <laughs> I'll never tell you. I have no idea. Is that the fucking castle? C castle? We Mother, what have you done to him? His mind is gone. And he's gonna kind of kick you in the chest real quick. Where is he? Fucking. I lose my pages. <laughs> Castle. <laughs> you mean Kapustan, right? <laughs> well, the castle of Kapustan or whatever. I don't know. It was a guard tower or something. It was big. It was. It, it, it was. It <laughs> was the royal palace. Yes, of Prince Jalarkin. So you tell him that, <laughs> and he says he must be in the palace. Then, ah, well, if this one is a friend, perhaps he'll come to us. I'm bored. Bring the paper beetle. And this guy walks over and he opens the box and you hear something darting around inside the box. And he opens the lid of the box and something drops into the cage around your head. <laughs> and you feel something begin scurrying up your, the back of your head and moving slowly but surely towards the front. And you see these like long gangly claws come into reach. And these, like, bi um, bisected eyes looking at you with a very sharp, serrated mouth. And the Panion Seer, as this uh, creature begins entering the vision of your uh, left eye, um, the Panion Seer is going to say, Oh, please, do scream! Um, and this beetle-like creature is going to begin eating your left eye. <laughs> <laughs> Can um, I, like, also, shake my head? <laughs> Try to get him off me? <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Or a strength check. To, like, try and shake it away. Oh, no, no. As you try, it, like, uses its legs to, like, pry open your eyelid and, like, hold it, like, even further. I and mean, it's just gonna start munching. You have lost your eye. Your... What? Perception, your perception checks based on sight are now going to be at disadvantage. But, oh my God, your um, arcana check based on sight are now going to add because for some reason, even though with all the pain and knowing that you're, you can still some see, but what you see is just auras and energy flow, but you can still see. And with this, they're going to remove the cage and going to leave you in front of your new mom, who's going to try and collect you. But just then, they hear some, like, banging and crashing and stuff. And the Panion is like, more interruptions? And this guy runs up and comes back. Holy One, we are being assailed. There are intruders. We suggest that you vacate. Yes, yes, Mother and I will leave. And as you're collected back into this monster's arms, um, he waves his hand and your eye heals over and you stop feeling any pain and start feeling the pain of being crushed. And he's going to open a portal. <laughs> He's gonna open a uh, port. Yeah. 
Holy sh shit. Poor Ozzo. That's fucked. I thought I thought you guys. Well, we gotta, Evan. I hope you have the eye of Vecna in your game, so that's what we're gonna get <laughs> off of. Um, God. And you are going to be teleported. Also into another room, one that's much colder, and the floor seems to be ice. And he says, Ah, uh, my dear Azo, you told the truth, and I punished you none. For this, I am sorry. Perhaps I can offer you something. Mother, release him. And you're dropped to the floor again. <laughs> Scared of me? Fetch some food, water, bring, bring a feast. And he's going to, to leave. And then he goes back to you, and you're like kind of like crawling on the ground at this point. Like, ah, ah. And he's going to look down at you and be like, Are you hungry, thirsty? I could bring you some cured meats. Venison, don't worry. We're I'd rather starve. Oh. Is this some more truth you are sharing? Be careful, my dear brother. You are now within... Lest you upset, try to cuddle. Septak? Yes, holy one. What do you make of this creature before you? Holy one, his bones are... Whatever horrors you have brought upon this creature, please end its misery. Sight disgusts me. Oh, oh, you would like that, wouldn't you? You would all like that to be released. I apologize, holy one. My, my speakings were out of place. Yes, they were. You are to ensure that Anastas succeeds, and if not, you will prepare a defense. Be gone from my sight, Septok. I have much to discuss with Ozzo. He's gonna leave as well. And basically, we're gonna cut back to Ivara and... ...who are currently on their way back to Kapustan, and are going to be, um, setting down. Uh, in the city near what appears to be a gathering between two very familiar burnt-out houses. You guys are over here. Yeah, I'm trying to find my... Oh, uh, 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 uh. There we go. You just kind of got dropped off by those dragonfly people again who are allied with Malazan. Uh... You can see that there's sort of a meeting going on here. And um, the captain kind of looks back and says, well, we better not miss out. Kind of. Ah, kind of. Have we rested or are our stats the same as our previous session? Um, You guys rested because you did that tiny hut. Fantastic. But yeah, you guys kind of all uh, run up with the rest of them. And you can see that like there are bar <clears throat> guests around who are like picking up dead bodies, clearing out the houses, gathering up any survivors they find. And you hear, he um, hear the uh, familiar voice of the uh, chief of all the bar guests, Humbral Tar, um, going... You lead a tribe of women! And you hear Itkovian going, I, Kapan women, some of the most valuable resources of the city. Ha! Huh, the bar guest would say the same about their women. I like this man, Kaladan. Well met, Shield Anvil Itko uh, Itkovian. I believe you are the city's defenders. Yes, we are. We are currently on the way to the Thrall. We seek justice. 
Justice against whom? Against Rath Fenner. We were betrayed. I would witness this. You know... <laughs> You're a nosy bastard, aren't you? I... I am. Well, we'd best be off then. I believe my men have already arrested um, Rath Fenner by now. And they're kind of like making their way towards the thrall on the mask and so and croup waves at Ivar and is like hello big woman oh god hi he pulls out uh he runs up to you and he holds his hand out for you like to to, to catch some like to take something Oh, okay. Vara kind of holds her hand out, I guess. Um, they're they're they look what appear to be um candy balls, and he says, "Croup found these lying about in one of the candy stores that hadn't been ransacked. Apparently, the attackers had more taste for flesh than sweets. Hmm, more for Croup and you, yes. Anyways, yes, so." Is there a oh. white van that I'm, or is there a white carriage I'm supposed to be eating these in, or? No. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> She's saying that in character. <clears throat> Why, of course not. But if the white carriage is what you want, Croup can. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, I'm prepare. good. No, the candy's enough. Thank you. I'll, I'll save mm -hmm. it for later. Well, well, he waddles off very fat. I, I, I like touch P, uh, Viso's like shoulder and I like give her the can. She eats it and her eyes go wide. Like, like I just took ecstasy wide. More. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, is she high or is she just like, just like fucking I want more candy? I sugar, sugar before and I want more <laughs> kind of look. Like, she's just looking at you going, more, more, more. What happened to you? I'm sorry. <laughs> talk to that guy. Actually, no, don't talk to that guy, Miso. Don't talk to that guy. Sam? Yeah? Can I cast, um, locate creature? You most certainly can. Um, I'm going for the tall, skinny necromancer. He is within the city at his estate. Okay, so Ivara, I have some unfinished business. Are you coming, or do you need to go do other stuff? Uh, we kind of have unfinished business saving Ozzo. Viso won't go to Thrall, see what they talk about justice. But yeah, we, we, we go get Ozzo. Yeah, I could we will, possibly... but I have more pressing issues first. <laughs> well... <laughs> Viso, go with them. You go do your thing, Ivara. You 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 choose who you go with. Uh, Ivara's like, you know what? I really feel like if you guys want to do whatever you want to do. That's fine, but I'm I'm probably gonna hold out and wait till uh, you guys get back. I'm gonna focus on Ozo. Suit yourself. I cast um, at speed of this retreat on myself, and then you just sort of see me whiz off like a cartoon character. <laughs> little fuck, a little dust cloud behind your feet. <laughs> exactly. Bara kind of like her head kind of like cocks back, like in shock. It's like, oh, it's urgent. It's what? Urgent. <laughs> He like runs back into into range. Ah, your head runs away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can move your hands. How free you must feel. <laughs> I do feel free. Such luxury. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's get Pigu stuff. Woo. Yeah, that was fucked. <laughs> All right. So, Pigu, you're over here. Trying to find us. Ah, there we go. Yeah. 
Um, and you can see that um, there are undead porters kind of packing their horrendous wagon right now with their things. A man's the is sitting there. He has um, bandages wrapped around his jaws as as there has been surgery done on him or something. Right. Um, and Corporal Broach is there and he waves you over. Hey, buddy, how's it going? We've been waiting for you. Botch I know, I appreciate your patience. Patience is one thing we have. Time, that is another matter. Well, let's Tell get to it then. Patience, I will be waiting for him. Uh, yes, I will tell that guy whose name I definitely remember. He, Botchlin, he points you to this door. <laughs> Botchlin! It's me, Pidu. Enter. Oh, gracious. And oh, you, as you walk inside, um, you see that there's yet again more undead porters kind of like grabbing things, putting them together, you know, <clears throat> getting him ready to leave. And he's like, well, it seems that our welcome in the city is at an Although no one has come to kick us out until you arrived in the city, I detected your presence. Although I find it peculiar that you detected Perhaps there's some sort of leeway with my bargain, God. Granted- huh? Wait, 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 wait. You, you were detected? Is, is he saying that he was detected when I came in? No, he detected you when you came in, and obviously you were able to find him very easily, so he was kind of like, maybe your god, like, gave you some sort of way to detect me, but no one else can. I'm starting to question this a little bit. Uh, oh, that is suspicious. I'm sorry to hear it's not working out quite the way you'd hoped, but, you know, once you figure out the teams, I'm sure it'll be good. True. And I believe this is our part of the bargain. And he walks over to the fireplace that is lit. And... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just reading the fucking shit on the side. <laughs> um, and then, um... He's gonna walk over to the fireplace that's still lit, and he's gonna <laughs> pour something um, into a beaker that's kind of like smoking. <laughs> and he's gonna walk over to you, and he's gonna be like, "Drink." Wait, uh, he gave me a beaker that's smoking. Mm-hmm. I can do that, but like the isn't there another ingredient you're gonna need? Well, didn't you already give him the? Oh, um, I don't know if I I I, th I had it in my inventory, so I thought I had it. Um, does this, th does he have it right now? Is that what's happened when he's made this thing? If you still have it, all that's needed would be to add the contents of that into what he has. Okay, so I do that. He, he explains that then. I, I, okay. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I totally thought you'd already given him that as the, like, component. Okay, so I put the, the blood, or I, I, the, the, the golden blood or whatever goes into the, the beaker. Um, yeah. I imagine something epic happens when I do that, like it turns a different shade of color or something, and I'm supposed um, to drink it? it? It turns into a rainbow-like neon liquid that begins to sparkle and produce sweet, perfumey, perfumey, and spicy aroma. So it actually tastes good. It, it smells, smells good. This. It smells like, like, pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Yes, okay, okay, I take it. I drink it. Bottoms up. Cool, roll a constitution check. Well, save. Uh-oh, shit, forgot about that part. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, you're going to uh, go into a bit of a rage. Basically, um... What you're going to feel now is you, you feel power going through you. Your eyes become a little bit more reptilian. And also, 
feel a dis like this is going to be a permanent characteristic for you now. Okay. Um, you feel the need to hoard treasure. Shiny shit, gold, whatever it is, you want it, but you Okay. But yeah, besides from that, um Botchland is gonna say it is done. You may try to veer at any time, although I don't suggest you do it within the city. I believe our interactions are at an end, you do. It has been a pleasure. It really, really has. Um, and they're gonna load themselves all up. And they're talking. So do I only just feel like an urge to hoard treasure, or is there anything else, like, since I failed to like, am I gonna pass out? Am I going to, like, you know, be... There's nothing physically untowards about you, you just have... Basically, your eyes have changed, your pupils are more reptilian, and now also do fucking treasure. Okay. Magic items, gold, yeah, yeah. Um, also, how, how many times, like, is it one transformation per day? Is that how it works? Or it's between long rests? Um, pretty much, yeah. And it's a full action, so. Okay. One transformation okay. per day, and a full action to transform, and a full action from back. And um, how long does it last? Is it a like a polymorph one hour, or is it like until I transform back? Until you transform back, or until the twenty four hours, you can literally stay in that form for like twenty four hours. Then you'd have to. Oh, okay, so you stay maximum is twenty four hours, and then I have to take hour recharge if that's the case. Like there needs to be a break in between. The only problem with it, though. I'm gonna tell you this now. For every four hours you are in that, you're gonna have to check, fail it. You're gonna want to stay it forever. Oh, every four hours I will be tempted to stay in that form forever. Yeah. Which check do I need to make? Wisdom. Cool. Okay, I should probably write some of this down. Thank you. Yeah, I'll I'll write out all the rules for it. <clears throat> Knowing Pigu, he's gonna be like, fuck getting out of the city, I want to chain. Just starts like trying. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> do, do you just, do you <laughs> just, like, <laughs> oh, I could I could show you the token I got you. Want. <laughs> do we do we want to do a little like um uh I don't know if the term is retcon or but you know like give myself the ability to do a test try right now just to sort of sure. see what it is yeah. but then I'll just switch right back. Yeah. You might want to get more out into the open though. <laughs> no, no, I want to do it here. Oh, I want to destroy this building. You you do so, <laughs> and I think it's very representative of Pigu, seeing as you know it's just like all colorful oh and crazy. Wow, it's really flashy. That's what Beautiful. Pigu wants. It's pretty. You break through their fucking estate, leveling That's the front fucking area. Amazing. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> but yeah, and then you turn back into your... It's too bad he's using it for evil. 
It should have been me. <laughs> oh no! Oh. It should have been Pigu. I know. I'm Pigu saying I should have been the dragon. <laughs> I know. This <laughs> Poor uh, fuck, man. This is terrible. Like I'm happy David got his like got like a dragon soul taken, but like. Oh, that's heavy with us. That scene was heavy with us. <laughs> fucking great. He's gonna show up and be like, look how cool I am, and I'm gonna be like, kill me. <laughs> You're like a spider person. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, well, Ivar, not knowing what to do, I'm just gonna say you go with me, so. Oh, I, no, I was, uh, I said I was waiting by the, uh. Um... gonna wait? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna wait. I wanna rescue oh. Azo. Viso is going to explain to you that the fastest way of getting to where Viso, uh, where Azo is, is probably going with you, because they're going to, like, fight the Penny and Seer. Okay, I guess, story reasons. <laughs> Fine, uh, I'll go with Viso. So are they, like, um, counseling to talk about how they're going to go there? And, and as you get there, you can see that Rathfenner is in chains and that he's, like, pushed prostrate to the ground with his hands out. And Ekovian is walking up with his sword, and he says, In the name of Fenner's Reeve, you are found guilty of treasonous acts against the Council, against the Faith, and against the god Fenner. How do you plead? It means nothing! Your god is dead! Fenner is dead! Dead, torn from his realm by alien hands. That means little to me. It stands, and he walks over and he cuts off the guy's hand. And as he cuts off his hands, the wounds instantly um uh heal, and the hands begin being like kind of dissipating. Um, but whatever is taking them away to their realm is wrapping chains around. Oh, and then, then he leans down to Rathfenner and he says, Come, I will take your pain. And he takes the guy's pain, but in doing so, when he walks away, the guy falls to the floor dead. It is done. We have our justice. We will now see to the eradication of the Panion Seer with what little forces we have. Anyone that would join us is welcome to. Caladan Brood raises his hammer. We will join. We will join as well. The Bargast relish the opportunity. And the rest of the council kind of like start tapping their staves and they're like, it is done. Rath Banner has been sentenced for his betrayal. And now... And just behind you guys, the doors are going to open and Viso's going to get out of the way. This guy's going to start walking forward right past Ivara. Doesn't... Prince Arad, successor to Jalakin, we name you Prince of Kapustan. And he kind of just, like, walks up and looks over to the bar and he's like, we give you leave to take your ancestors to the proper burial grounds. Although, we would be more pleased to have proper treaties with the Bargast close to our city. Perhaps some sort of trade agreement. Yes, Prince, we will discuss terms once this war is won. Everyone, to the victory of Kapustan! And everyone kind of starts cheering and hooplying. Except for Ekovian, who's gonna, like, just kind of walk out. And he's gonna, like, call people over. And, and he's gonna walk past Ivara, and he's just gonna look to her and be like, We couldn't have done this without you. Both of you. You assisted greatly in the battles. You have. And if you would accept it, my friendship. And he's got his hand to, like, shake yours, Ivara. 
I uh, I do that like wrist to wrist shake, you know, like the the arm to arm. And he looks at you, and he can see he sees you're troubled, and he's like, "We will get him back. If he lives, we'll back." I hope so. I have matters to attend to. A new reeve must be fashioned. Fenner is dead. Therefore, the Grey Swords are no more. We must swear ourselves to another god. And they're gonna like leave as well, going off to who knows what. Um Truth is gonna come running over to you guys though, and he's gonna be like Oh no. Excuse me, friends of Croup. But there has been a rather grievous occurrence that I think you might wish to partake in. Our dear friend Silver Fox, well, she has some guests, and I think my friend would like it if I attended such gathering. And Croup wishes to have some protection from such hearty warriors as you'll say. Uh, I look at uh, Viso. And I'm like, he's got candy. Viso is like, yup, 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 Um, and he's gonna lead you guys. Um, boop, 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 boop. Out of the city, onto, um... Uh, before I leave, can, uh, Yvara, like... Talk to the um, the guard or whatever the or like uh, nudge one of the guards or whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, she's gonna like pass him a piece of paper, piece of paper, and uh, she's gonna be like, "Hey, can you if you get the chance, can you give this to um, uh, Hatan whenever she comes out?" And he kind of like looks at you and he's like, "Sure." Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, I walk away. But basically, in the note, it's like, it's like, come see Yvara whenever things calm down. Okay. What is that? <laughs> um. But yeah, um, he's gonna lead you guys. Uh, you out, um, out to this kind of hilly area, and there you see Orphan Cell, Corlat, Silver Fox, and her mother. And she turns and she's like, "Croup, you would bring these ones." Uh, sorry, wrong token. She kind of goes over here and she's like, Croup, you would bring these ones. And she then looks at Ivar and she says, You, thank you. I saw what you did, Scalo. Most people would be dead by now. You managed to survive passing blades with the High King. I do not know. Oh, it didn't come out on scale, but I'm glad to see you're okay. Pardon? Oh, uh, Ivaro was just saying, I didn't come out unscathed, but I'm glad that you're okay. Well, I am glad to see that you are okay. Sadly, I have extremely pressing matter. You are witness to, uh, to the gathering. The second gathering of the mass. And as you look over the hill, you're going to see materializing out of the depth. Just thousands and thousands of Talana Mas and, and large under wolves and stuff. And three and four up to uh, Silver Fox. And they say, I am Cole, bonecaster of the Kron Talana Mas. I am Lannis Dog, bonecaster of no gross Talana. I am Uthan Prawl, bonecaster. Summoner, we come here to you at the second gathering. We ask that you release us from our vow. Let us be released into oblivion after so many millennia of turmoil and strife. 
the war must end. And 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 seeing the like gravity of the situation, you guys are kind of like, shit. This is some like ancient mythological bullshit. We probably have no business with. But basically, all these Talana Mass who have been around for like hundreds of thousands of years have been fighting a endless war against the Jagat. Um, they're asking to be released from their their vow and to be released in debt. And Silver Fox is going to say one word. No. And they all kind of just bow their heads and dissemble back into dust. And crew. Oh, my. Did she say no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I deleted her by mistake, too. Um, but yeah, she said no. So she didn't and release them, but they they all they all disappeared back into dust because they can turn into uh, into dust to move around at will, kind of thing. So instead of staying like in you know actual form, they just kind of went off to float on the wind. And Croup's gonna be all like. I do not understand, friend Silver Fox. You you perplex croup. Why would you not release them? They are needed. They are needed for what is to come, what I must do. Especially now that we know the Kashane Kamal are involved. What would you have had me do, Avara? Or you, Viso? I thought that was pretty fucked up, actually. Fucked up. You've been keeping their servitude for a millennia? Or you've been... More like 200. That's abuse. That is... Sir... That should be... They swore a vow. They swore a vow to live until every jagged had died. They are not all dead yet. And I need them. We need them. What happens when the last dragon dies? Is that, is that prophecy going to be fulfilled on your end, I wonder? I have the means to release them on <clears throat> when I am ready for them to be released. And Will they, are what made, they are what made this ever-aging vessel, this collection of souls, the first mortal caster. Well, 200,000 million. If I want them to wait a little. Now. I must be that? off. <clears throat> She's like, I must be off to the camp. Come with me, mother. Corlette. Is Anamanda Rake going to attend tomorrow's meeting? I believe he shall be on time, yes, Silver Fox. Good. I like it when he arrives. He always makes a flashy difference. And they're just gonna kind of like walk away from you guys. And Croup kind of like looks back at you guys and you can see that he's like crying. But like not, not like sobbing, but like there's just tears down his face and he's like I believe that Croup is in need of some wine would you join me you know what I think I will join you well so you guys um I'm just gonna theater of the mind this but you guys go to uh back to the city and you find um the most not burnt out and bloody bar that you can find and um, pulling seriously from his, um, like, shirt that... Like, he's not even wearing a jacket. He just pulls it out of his shirt. Like, this big-ass, like, bottle of wine. And he just opens it. And he's like, from Darugistan, it's quite sweet. And with something... And with witnessing something so bitter, Croup needs sweet.
And then out of his shirt as well, he's going to pull four cups and fill them each. <coughs> so how did you feel back there? I know you. this is quite a somber event for you. Do you care to get into details? Croup knows of the Talanamas. They, they are people quite tragic. They are ancestors. Those who did not make it in time for the first swear the vow. Well, became what Croup is before you. The human. And <clears throat> From what I can tell, it seems that our girl Silver Fox has gone a tad mad with me. But at the same time, I can see what she means. My good friend and employer, well, he speaks a lot of Telanamas, and he feels for them, as he does for all creatures of the... As does Croup, for Croup wishes not peace, but it is understood. <clears throat> but Coop understands as well that some must be the way they are. And perhaps that is what we must do now. Yeah, I feel you. That was... That was perverse, what you did. I don't blame you for feeling the way you do. But perhaps there is an end goal to this. We do not know the meddling ancient players and the god. We are merely more players here on the stage. Croup, crouping. <laughs> Upon the morrow, I believe that the Kalidan Fort and the forces of Kaladan Brood are marching. The ravens of Anamanda reported that the Tennis Gowry have reformed and are marching forward. They say that the Lord of is going to himself. I wish to see the I wish to see the terror he would sow among do they did what pause. Kapustan used to with life. Now all Croup sees is death. It breaks Croup's heart. And trust me, that takes a lot. Croup's heart is based in many layers of fat. It takes quite a blow. It's quite a And, yeah, he's just gonna kind of finish his wine with you guys and stuff and say his goodnights and head off. <laughs> figured, figured he needed a drinking buddy after that. Yeah. I think you guys need a good drinking buddy. Viso cried. Iso cried a lot. Like, as, as Coop was talking, Iso was just like... You know who'd be Oops. a good drinking buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go does break it! Drink? Nah, man, he just does that, huh? <laughs> does that mad honey. He's all about that honey. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've um, ever had the opportunity, but there's no reason he wouldn't. He'd probably need it more than the <laughs> fucking rest of us after everything Nozo's gone through. But anyway, sorry, this is out of character. Um, I guess Viso and I finish up, and then we head back? Yeah. Um, actually, on the way, you see a large building that seems to almost be mortared and pestled blood. And standing in the doorway of it is a uh, Gruntle. But his shirt is all ripped off and what appears like he's splattered with blood and the blood almost looks like barbed, like uh, like the stripes of a tiger almost on him. Oh. What happened? And it's done with this city is what happened. God damn it. Stoney got in over her head. 
fucking dumb bitch went and got herself killed. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. This is worse. <laughs> What happened to her? What? I told her she couldn't go running that little rapier. But no, don't listen to Gruntle. And now I got all these fucking Capan survivors here who they just, I don't know, I went into a rage. They followed behind me and now they're thinking I'm some sort of fucking god or some shit. I don't know. They're like worshipping me, man. It's fucking... And as you're looking at his eyes, too, you see that they're a little bit more feline. Uh, how you feeling there, Gruntle? I don't know. Hungry, sad, angry. All in all, numb. Oh, let's see if I got something to... Uh, I still have my water screen of Grey Fowl, and I'm like, do you need this right now? And I hand him over, or I uh, hand it over to him. He, he, like, chugs it, like, the whole fucking thing. Well, I mean, oh, okay. And then he holds it up to he you, and he's that. like, to Stony, eh? Yeah. Oh, I know I always Stony. rag on her. I, I've always kind of ragged on her, but... I love that woman like a sister. Part of me's gone now that she is. Well, um, sorry for your loss. I know somebody, somebody else who's not going to be too happy about her passing. Some old man runs out from behind him and the spear at you and is all like, Stay away from the mortal sword of Trake! What business do you have here? Leave him alone. Leave, leave her alone. Come on. Back, back up. Back up. Back up. She's cool. Still, no, dude. Come on. But Mortal Soul, stop calling me that. I'm nothing. Just leave me alone. All of you, bugger the fuck off. And all these people kind of like come stepping out and they got like swords and shields and they look like they've been fighting hardcore. They're like covered in a lot of blood. You can't tell if they're all. They look like they must have been fighting for a day and a half straight. And a lot of them are actually part of um, a lot of the people who are like have swords and shields and stuff. That group of survivors you found in the, when you first entered the city, a lot of them they kind of look at you with, like knowing nods of kind of like it was either we fought or we died kind of. Yeah, I shoot them all a little mini nod. Be so does this. Um, but yeah. Um, do you... Back to Ozzo? We are. Yeah, don't torture me, mother. <laughs> now, snoo snoo. No, it's 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 okay. Where they were. They brought you. So before you is a tray of food and water, and it is laid out before you. And there is a nice chair brought for you, and you're allowed to sit down. And although you can't really sit that well now that your bones are all mangled and shit, kick it all over. <laughs> 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 I kick everything. As you're doing this, um, give me a give give me a perception check. Not at disadvantage. It's not based on sight. It's almost like a it, it's almost like an inspection, <laughs> introspective check, I guess. But we're just gonna use. Cool. So you feel like you got really bad heartburn. Ow. <laughs> like, y you kind of feel like something yeah, wants to get out, but can't get out. Oh, God. 
and the Panion Seer is going to look at you and be like, Well, that was very rude. Seerdemon, perhaps you should take our guest for a walk. He looks like he has some air. I have things to... And um, he's going to like kind of pick you up. Wee. <laughs> yeah. You're hurting me. <laughs> I am sorry for what the seer does to you. If it were up to me, I would end your... <coughs> I would end your agony, but alas, I am broken by the seer. He has broken us all. We do his whim out of fear. And he kind of like leads you to the battlement to look over the city. And you can see that there's like hanging um, almost like a spider web's worth of uh, rope over all the uh, buildings. They call it the spider's weave, the sailors. They used to come out of the port. And as you look out, you see that the port, um, it's completely frozen. But now that the seer has resident here, the port is cold and dead. Only ghosts haunt this city. Ghosts and his servants. What kind of movement do I have? Um... <laughs> You would only be able to move. Um, it's basically been cut in half. Like, you can move about 15 at a time. Yeah, can I move my hands and my feet? And Do I still have a cage yeah, on my yeah. hand? No, no, you're, like, completely released. You're just horribly mangled. You're also stripped of all your belongings. I call forth my guardian of faith. Shadow. <laughs> okay, well, this is gonna get fucked me. I wanna no, I was roll still initiative. <laughs> position myself between him and her, put it between me and him, ideally. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, make a map for this real quick and shit. God damn it. If I did these chains, you can't stop me. I'm gonna fly into some fucking cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hate waiting on color palette it takes so long. And keep in mind, you're at like one each. That's all I got. <laughs> I'll work with that. <laughs> All right, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? He's going to knock me unconscious? Or he's going to kill me? <laughs> Neither of those sound that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nay, we shall cut off your dick. <laughs> Don't give me ideas. D d never mind. <laughs> he already took my first, first barn. What more do you want from me? Um, so yeah, you can make your little, uh... Sorry, I'm taking. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to like make this map as I go. Um, so basically, 
all of that is like not battlement and if you were to jump off of that you would fall into city it's not that far though and there's like possible handholds that you can grab um oh that's a nice and Why you try to fuck with the steer to me? He was being nice to you. Yeah, boy. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. You scum. <laughs> I like that. Fuck him. <laughs> He's working for the bad guys. He explained that he has no real choice. We all have a choice. Cute. He just chose to side with the bad guys. Out of what? Fear? Yes. <laughs> yes, out of fear. Pussy. What level spell is that? Um, I think that's third. Is that level four? Third. Third, because yeah, this guy's a, that this this guy's a, a wizard too, and he's gonna try to dispel it. Um, third level or lower on the target ends. So yeah, your your spell just. Oh no, it's a fourth level, so I have to make a DC ten. Oh yeah, it is fourth. Spellcasting ability. Nope. And it would be your turn. But he also does go like, Gods! <laughs> um, I will be right back, though. If that's, if that's acceptable with everybody. <laughs> I'm going down, but I'm going down fighting. Yep. I'm gonna scapper. Probably not. But I'm gonna fucking try. <laughs> Yeet the fuck out of there. I wish I took different spells now. <laughs> what are you, uh, what kind of, um, are you a conjuration wizard or what's your. No, I'm a sorceress. Oh, that's right. You're a fucking sor sorcerer. Yeah, you're a sorcerer. Sorry, my bad. I am a uh, chosen of the gods sorcerer. So I like do holy magic. But this, this really didn't work out the way I thought it would have. I feel like a really weird fucking sorcerer. I'm like. Half cleric, half sorcerer. But the cleric half is only like the proficiencies. Oh, okay. So I can wear medium armor and wield a couple different types of weapons and stuff like that. Um, I have a. This spell you, you that can I'm also using. Cast yeah. I get the same spells as a light or life cleric. I can't remember which one it is. Um, through their leveling. So I get like Bless and Cure Wounds, uh, Spiritual Weapon, and that might be the only one for level twos. Just, I get a couple of weird cleric -y spells. This thing that I'm doing, this Guardian of Faith, is a cleric spell.
Did Pigu take the bag of toes? I have that in my inventory and I feel like I don't actually have that. Or did Pigu not take the bag of toes? I hear you. What? Uh, Mac, can you not hear David? Uh, nope. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, no, uh, Mac can't hear you. I heard that. I had his hello. Volume, I had his volume turned down just too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm on a new computer, so the settings are. Yeah, do you have the bag of toes? Did you take that from me? No, no, no. You tried to give it to me, and I told you I already had some. Like, I lied, but, like, I basically said, oh, no, I already have those. And you're like, oh. Okay, I was just going through my inventory, looking at all the things I'm leaving behind. <laughs> and I felt like I didn't actually have that. But. What ifs? <laughs> Who carries a bag of toes around, right? Well, you think I do. I actually don't have all that much. The, the honey is like the really the only thing that I'd be upset about losing. There's a couple things that are like touch and go when we got our crow clan feathers. Well, your uh, stuff will probably be nearby. or like uh, I ain't going in into somewhere to find my shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. If I can even make it. <laughs> I'm a naked babe on the road. <laughs> Gonna be crossing a frozen lake. Oh, but your new mama's gonna be sad. She's gonna be sad you ran away from home. I know, it makes me not feel nice. <laughs> My mom is abusive. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I want you back up inside me. And you're like, oh, I gotta get the fuck out. Come on, Evan. Come back sooner. I've been looking at my character sheet for so long trying to find all the spells that I can use without materials and spell focuses <laughs> and how many of those actually uh, give you a break on that yeah of the ones that I can cast which ones will actually be anything decent it's not much it's definitely not much have we been using components this game um, arcane focus. Yeah, I don't have an arcane focus. Oh, I arcane chose, focus. It. Okay. I chose the okay, component back. pouch instead. <laughs> oh, come on. Most components but... aren't consumed, though. Just. That's what you need them. Um, but yeah. It would have been your turn, so. I run. You can <laughs> never leave, also. Was that a dash? Yep. Cool. Make a perception check. Is this a visual perception check? Yes. Do it at disadvantage. <laughs> cool. You oh, look bye, bye, down. Bye. And you see crawling up the side of the wall the very scaly, gross form of Grey Fog. Oh my god. I can't move Ooh, anymore, but coming. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't say anything or do anything, but uh, yeah, I prepare to just fucking jump off the wall. <laughs> Wait, I can cast magic. No, I, I can't. Wait, I can't too. 
No telephone. Uh, why well, he might be able to understand me, but I'm just screaming in agony. <laughs> um, let me just see how many sorcerer spells this is. Yes. Okay. Oh shit! I forgot to do um, X A. Last last turn. Fifty against fucking. What's uh, what's your DC? Seventeen. Oh yeah, he takes. That's a that's an. That's like that's like. He got toasted by that. Zap. Um, yeah. So that's your... I uh, I, I quicken darkness and cast it on myself so that I'm not visible. Whoa. And then I am done. Yeah. Let me just see where he's at. Ah, never mind. Uh -huh. Can't cast darkness. It's material. <laughs> I don't have materials. Does, 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 does Cone of Cold go through darkness anyways? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Probably. The darkness isn't there. Um, well, he's casting a Cone of Cold just in general direction. So blasting past your spirit guardian. I don't know what that would would that do anything to your spirit guardian? No, it doesn't have health. Okay, it's in that case energy. then yeah, you you'd have to make a dex. You will die here, also terrible. <laughs> more likely. Even if I take half damage, I bet you it's more than one. The well, chain yeah, is just Fourteen is a fail, so you're taking twenty. So you're you're unconscious. Actually, I don't. That's not concentration. My guardian stays there. So it would be. And does anything happen to use the range of it? No, it's only when they enter the range and sort of like move around it. He's gonna get there. Then I need a death save. For... And he's all like, "We could have done this the nice way. I was going to be merciful." Um, odds are even. Odds. Uh, he's not smart enough to fucking Who realize does? I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't ten on a death save like? A success? Te technically? That, I'm pretty sure that's a success if it, it does hit 10. Like, it's okay. anything single it's digits a success. is down. I just figured it was odds or evens because of the whole, like, since we do it with the fucking AC and stuff. Oh, I know, but... Yeah. I know no, we do the odds or evens thing, but, like, I think... Death saves. That's <laughs> death saves. It should just be ten pass. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool. Um. Yeah. So that's one success for Azo. Gray fog. And gonna just swoop him. Scoop him up in his mouth. And just scoops him off. The the rest of this, I'm gonna do a bit theater of the. Oh no, that's review. Um, so yeah, also, um, the game. First, um, when, when, when you look up and open your one eye, um, you see, um, some boots and a rope hanging to the ground. A lovely white dress. And you hear a voice going, Animas wanted him healed. He said to bring him to you. You know you owe us a favor. Oh, that's true. 
And look at him. What have they done to my poor Azotero? There's nothing oh, I can do for the eye, but the rest I can fix. Thank you. And let's call this even. Yes. Let the usurper know that we're even. You know he hates it. Why do you think? I've always liked you, lady. Take good care of him. I will. And then you kind of like fade back and consciousness. But then you wake up all healed and and looking at you is the beautiful Lady Envy. And she goes, Azoterum! Whoa! You must tell me what has happened to you. We must seek vengeance against them, yes? Where's Grave Frog? He left you in my ca- as was the wish of his masters and apparently your Magi Widow. What a fantastic title. I fixed up your bones. They were quite brittle. I'm sorry about that. I hope everything feels okay. And you kind of like go to move and you like look at yourself and like everything okay and back to the way it was except for your eye and she's like i'm sorry about that even i that healing where is yeesh <laughs> i know where yeesh is which is unfortunate <laughs> but i'm worried um yeah i i stay quiet mostly i'm just sort of in shock that i'm finally escaped and Grey Fog's gone, so I'm just kind of sad. There's, it's you, too good to be true. You feel as if... Um, you, you Envy have, scares me as you, well. What you're <laughs> lying on begins to lick you. Uh, is it a and, dog? And it's, 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 it's the big winter wolf. <sighs> That's ball jag! Yeah. Ooh. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, snuggle my face into its big fluffy coat. <laughs> the undead warrior Unus Talan walks up and goes, Ere I'll fall, I was going to go find you myself, but then you to us. Whoever has done this to you must pay. Why so much trouble for such a simpleton? When I saw you in your state before now, we were almost mirrored opposite. My bones and my flesh not. Your flesh was intact, but your bone. I felt great empathy. Something calls me, though. I have been summoned, Lady Envy, and I must attend. Do I have you? Yes, yes, go with your ancient bow and nonsense. He dissipates into dust and flutters away. Tell me, Lady, why am I so important to the world? Why won't people leave me alone? Ah... Uh... If only I could answer them. <laughs> Alas, there are some riddles that even befuddle such one such as who is so. I believe even under Rake. Can't quite hear you. Um, he she said that um. Even she doesn't know that sort of like she can't answer that riddle. Even Anamanda Rake probably couldn't answer that riddle. And speaking of which, you see that she has a small cut across her cheek. An imperfection, I see. <laughs> She's like, oh, that... A small quarrel with brother. Everything's fine now. With... Oh, what was his fucking name? Annie or something? <laughs> Mandy Poo? Mandy, yeah. 
Yeah. Was that from Mandy? Well, one of his subordinates. Sadly, they are no longer among the living. So what now? Well... Honest, I'm just quite to hurt you. I play visiting a very ungracious. Would you care to witness this? I'd really rather not go back. Well, perhaps I could bring you to your wherever. Trouble follows my friends. Is there anywhere yeah, I'd be that safe? Trouble follows you. Shit. Where could I feel safe? Envy, am I safe with you? Will you protect me? To the ends of this earth. And to any other I know. I know where you should bring me. Bring me where? to Stony. <laughs> bring me to my wife. You're not married. <laughs> where did you see her last? Oh god, well time is kind of a blurry thing. I'm not sure how long I was in that place. Um but last I saw her was at the Malazan camp. Before we went somewhere with Quick Ben, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you teleport you to the Malazan camp. Feels like and the Malazan ago. camp There is nothing left there, except for like the weird stone wall that was created. Um, have you know, how did you find me? Like, <laughs> where find Stani? <laughs> you were brought. I like grab her by her shirt collars. <laughs> damn me, damn it. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did you say? I said I grab her by her shirt collars and like shake her and be like, where's Stani? <laughs> You get shot off her with a burst of magical you land on your ass. And she's like, Impatience is rather unbecoming of you, Azotera. Calm yourself. Think hard. Where what? would you... Make a history check. Yeah, I have no fucking idea where she would be. <laughs> Where's Wrath Cruel? You you remember that people were going in Capustan. Capustan is like coming as you got knocked. Maybe she went to Capustan? Very well. And she's gonna like flick her fingers again and you're gonna like be at the gates. She's like, this is where I will leave. It's up to you to find her. Is, is there, like, people around? Or does she just, like, disappear and I'm all alone? There, You see, there's, like, Vargas warriors, some Malazan soldiers. They all look like they're leaving the city, but, like, also sort of still defending. I just collapse. <laughs> And I'll just wait there until someone finds me. Um, Lady Envy leaves, and you hear some footsteps walking up to you. Oh my! It would seem that someone needs to... A lending hand. Allow crew. <laughs> no! I was about to get molested. If he... Yes. Yeah. So you, like, stick a hand out at me? Yeah. I'm like, 
I'm looking for Stony. <laughs> Stony. Ooh, what happens to your eye? You seem familiar. Do I know you? I don't believe so. Although well. your voice gives me chills. <laughs> Croups always thinks that when someone does not remember something, the best remedy is one stomach. Pulls out of his shirt a big loaf of, like, sweet bread. And hens. Holy shit. I don't take it. I have no appetite. Very well. More for croup. Thank and you just for like offer. But I'm looking for someone else. No, you're welcome, but... <laughs> excuse, excuse. He just ate oh, the whole fucking God. loaf. <laughs> yeah, he literally just curbs it. They're not gonna do it. You're so obese. You should probably hold back. Well, I am off to the Thrall to visit my good friend Karuli, or should I say Wrath Kroll. Perhaps you would like to accompany me? Uh? <laughs> come, come, let's get you cleaned up. Does he carry me? <laughs> he's, he's just kind of like he takes you by the hand and starts dragging you. <laughs> this one. <laughs> You would really aid Coop if you used your legs. Coop shall <laughs> endeavor, though. He's like dragging you towards the thrall. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. My legs are kind of fucked up. <laughs> So I'm trying not to use them because they feel weird, and I'm also trying to cause a scene <laughs> because I want people to find me. <laughs> so I don't fucking walk. <laughs> he drags me the whole way. <laughs> okay, one, one, one second. Sorry, did I miss something? People still. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Just uh, uh, moving some tokens. Go back to I you? actually need a to make a perception check. Me also. No. I can't hear who's supposed to. Do Hello. Pigu. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to do something? Uh, a perception check, please. Okay, so as you're, like, walking, you see this, like, fat man dragging what appears to be Ozzo. <laughs> I waited, Pigu. Hi, I, I, there, there's a lot of things going through my head right now, mostly treasure and dragon related, but I'm also like, wait, we, we flew off to rescue you and you were here the whole time? What, wait, what, what is happening? Am I still buck axe naked too? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, 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 um, 
you you, you have you have some clothes on, but besides from that, you have nothing. You have some like traveler clothes. Okay, I'm gonna say that I'm outside of the rubble of the necromancer's estate. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And I guess I'm just gonna yell out like, "Hey, we're supposed to be rescuing you. What are you doing, free?" Yeah, I don't yell at all. <laughs> I'm like, as a safe just myself. Wait. <laughs> Alright. Is this so like, <clears throat> What happened to your eye? Oh fuck! It hurts still too. <laughs> Do I see anything wow. cool with Pigu? Does he have a weird aura um, or whatever? <laughs> you see, the aura around him is like just writhing chains, chains of black negative energy, and you also see draconic essence flowing through his like. In corporeal veins. What have you done, Pigu? What do you mean, what have I done? At least I have both my eyes. What have you done? Also, why are you here? We're supposed to be rescuing you. <laughs> rescuing? I just found him outside the city. He looked quite lost. There was a lovely lady with him, but she seemed to have vanished. Group saw these things. Group has good eyes. I escaped them. Great Fog helped me escape. <laughs> Have you seen Stony? Who? God damn it, be you. We meet so many people. You know, I'm surprised they remember you when you. You never answered. What happened to your eyes? I mine got stung by like a fucking poisonous beetle thing. It ate it. It was it was not pleasant. I'm what? having horrible flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what I want. <laughs> I start sweating. Nothing happened to my eyes. They've always been like. Roll a deception check. <laughs> Your perception I almost skewed. wanted to straight up believe him. Just like, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Fucking pee. <-goo. laughs> Do I insight against that? Uh, I'm not very insightive. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, they've always been like that. <laughs> I never noticed them before. Did you change yeah, I never really made a habit something? of gazing into your eyes. <laughs> Do you want to use your magic circle thing to carry me? My legs are kind of messed up. I'm, I'm still healing. Aren't you friends with the big lady, Halfling? Croup knows the big lady. And the little kobold that is always beside her. Yeah, yeah, get up with them before we go rescue Azo. Wait, are you? I need ten minutes to cast floating. They wanted to rescue. Hmm? <laughs> um, Krup, Krup was asking if Azo was the one that Ivara met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might need to go rescue him. He he's always running away. I wouldn't be surprised if by the time we meet up with Ivara, he's. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm never leaving. <laughs> Croup like links arms with Azo and is like, he shall not escape my oily grass. His what grass? <laughs> His oily grass. Okay, that's what I thought I heard. <laughs> He's just excreting like grease off of his skin. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I'm so yeah, rude. you're probably so gonna want to stay with me. I can't cast my floating disc fast. <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Oh, you're coming. <laughs> okay, let's go find Ivara. I 
just limply being dragged along the ground. <laughs> You guys notice there's a bit of commotion this way. So. Croup, where are you going? Don't you hear that? It sounds like a ceremony of some sort. Perhaps we should just uh, take a look, see what Croup and you see? Mm, no. Put me down. No, it's <laughs> it sounds important. If, 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 like, you're hungry, go ahead. We've got to find our companions. Perhaps your companions will be there. Perhaps they are waiting for you. Group thinks this, yeah. <laughs> What do you think? I don't like this guy. <laughs> yeah, well, you have bad instincts that get yourself kidnapped, so maybe we should go against what you're in. Ouch. <laughs> hey, by the way, <laughs> this is your fault. What do you <laughs> These people were looking for you. They kept telling me that I was you. They wouldn't believe me when I told them otherwise. Are you sure you weren't just hallucinating like reason for you not to be in that situation? I am not sure. <laughs> uh, you never are. Roll That's history. interesting, though. Am I might. To the commotion. Um, well, yeah, you guys like, head up the street, and Croup's all like, Whatever happened to that building? Oh. This is a claw marks. And look, <laughs> through yonder portal Croup sees the, ho the tall lady and the kobold with the knee. Pigo, it was the chained one that tried to kill you. Um, Ivara, roll a perception check. Alright, uh, one sec. Don't trust the gods. Easy. Piso, do you see what's down there? I think I see Pigu, but... Oh, darling. <laughs> oh, God, no, turn around. <laughs> she goes, Pisa! And tackles you. No! <laughs> tackles no! you. Right no need to faint me. I rescued him. We he, thought he did not. You were dead. Yup, yup, yup. Yes. We. <laughs> Why? <laughs> or captured? Biso was pretty sure he was dead. Won't lie. I'll remember that. <laughs> Yvara runs up and she sees Ozo and she's almost like kind of like at the brink of tears. I'm also limp but on the ground. I'm not standing. She, <laughs> Yvara like gently picks you up. Like as cut, like almost like a baby, where she's being very careful, but she gives you like a little like, not like a squeezing hug, but she's like just a consoling hug, and she hugs you tight. They wanted Pigu. I expect <laughs> Jesus, dang. Be so glare at Pigu. <laughs> Wait, what? Why? Why they want you, Piku? It was the chained one. 
Who was the chained one? The person who wanted you. Cool. No, that's not right. No, the, the, you, you must be getting... No, it's not the chained one, but it could be someone... <laughs> it was the mom of chains or something like that. The mother of chains? Maybe. She was a huge <laughs> lizard person. She crushed me. Endlessly. Well, Ivara notices your eye and she kind of like... <laughs> touches your cheek or whatever. She's like, that's horrible what they did to you. Like, And she's like looking at the yes. eye. She pulls her hand away. <laughs> but she's you still like hugging. Like, just notices the eye too now. She's starting to get like, really. What do their auras look like? <laughs> what oh. does Coop's fucking aura look like? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like all oh, the oils. Roll, roll, roll an arcana check at it. It's like a deep fryer or whatever, like the like the grease flat. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, Croup's aura looks as though he has many a magic protecting him, but he does not control any of it. That's why I don't trust him. Like, 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 protective ward. Like, you don't think anything bad could possibly happen to that person. I like, can see like things you think, now. And, and you wow. see... You, you see, like, death and decay around Viso... But like mm. the natural, like the natural changing of order and stuff around Ivara, you see nothing but cold and. And then around Pigu, well, I already told you what you saw. Yeah, I tell them what I see with my eye. Be so your. Death, the natural order of things. Yvara, you have an aura of cold pain. And Pigu, you are surrounded by chains. And, and there's the in blood with... Yes. What have you done, Pigu? I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> but I think you're not in the best of state to be making any type of judgment. You probably need a little bit of rest, don't you? Pigu, none of this happened without... Or... I don't think Ozzo's making any of this stuff up. Do you know why people would be after you? No, but you, you're need, right. He is I pretty need, insistent on that. I should probably do some reading. I need some deception checks. <laughs> and I need some insight checks. From me or from everyone except me? I need um, one deception from you and insight from both of them. Well, all of them. Viso does isn't sure. Ozo's cool with it. Ivara is not buying it. She knows something's up. She doesn't know what, but she knows something's up. She trusts me. Oh, it's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go research it though. I'll go around the corner and pull out the mark. Yo, nice find with the necromancers. Oh, that was amazing. But I don't. What do you desire? The skittish friend of mine, the one who keeps running away, the the one who who like for some reason the the dark god chose. He keeps saying that he was stolen because they thought he was me. What's up with that? I know not what my servants do is what my servants do. Perhaps the Panions here has some sort of vendetta against you. He was not chosen Magi. Perhaps he holds a grudge. 
What's your relationship with the Panions here? Well, I offered him more power and give control over the matron. Over the mate? Oh, over the, the women of the Dead Sea? No. The queen of the Kashane Kamel colony that he controlled. Um, but you didn't make him the the Magi of Chains. No, he is my herald. He is. He is my herald. What's a herald? Why? He brings forth my divine. Oh, your herald. The person who, like, trumpets for you and, like, announces your presence? Yeah. Oh. Okay, and he didn't want that. Apparently not, but... Do you have, like, an HR department? I feel like that would help clear up a lot of these issues. Is this a joke? No, I'm you know what? It's constructive criticism. Oh no, there's some emotional shit going on right now in the fucking sidebar. Huh? <laughs> in the scene. Oh god. Can you guys please actually roleplay that out after for me? <laughs> that was um, weird. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry, David. <laughs> oh, I see what you're Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, Ivar is going to kind of... Is there like a yeah. bench or something that I can sit also down at? Oh no, we'll lean against the wall or whatever, but I, I'm like, you may need to sit down for this. I'm pretty I, sure he's already on the ground. <laughs> I picked him up. I was uh, hold, er, hugging him. <laughs> I don't think he wants to be hugged right now. She... she I think he's considered... <laughs> Well, like, no, this is before, like, when we... So she's sitting against the uh, building now, and she's <laughs> like... Also, I've got some... I've got some news for you. I'm not sure you're going to like it. I'm just like, uh, have you seen Stoney? Uh, Yuvara grimaces, and she's pauses for a little bit. She goes, I'm, I'm sorry, also, if she's... And she's like, like doing that thing where she's like, her head's moving back and forth, like, almost as it, you know what I mean? Like she's like, I'm so sorry or whatever, but she like just can't continue the the sentence there. But she's like feeling so like sorry for Ozzo right now. It's okay. I know she's pregnant. <laughs> Ivar's eyes gonna just shoot wide, and she doesn't really say anything, but she kind of just. Viso just I go to like, see, like runs if... away crying. <laughs> just like this is too much for her. What? <laughs> can I? What? Is there anything you need? What can I do? I want to see my wife. My love. I don't know if I can promise that, but see if there's something we can do. Where is she? What was the name of the uh, the the sort of um, Fenner? What was his name again? Itkovian. No. Never mind, sorry. Uh, uh, the other guy that was uh, that the like, sword. That was like, like they were like, he was like, fuck off, like I'm nobody's not likely. Yeah. Gruntle? Was, he was, Gruntle. He was That's your it. boss. <laughs> Remember? When you joined the caravan guard? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, I tell him Gruntle told me. Gruntle's here? 
And what what did Gruntle tell you? Gruntle was the one that told me that Stony died. And I give him <laughs> I tell him the the story there. Can I make like a constitution save or something to pass out or not? Yeah. <laughs> like yes, definitely. Shock yeah. of something. Bam! Damn, maybe not. I'm like, ah, what? N where is she? Um, Ivara, you know that right now there's a ceremony going on to inter the dead here. I I pick Ozzel up by the arm, or like I I or sorry, I put my arm like under his like, yeah, you know I mean where she's like yeah. putting her arm under his arm and then like picking him up. She's like, come on, she'll be with. I think she'll be with the uh, the dead. There's a <laughs> ceremony going on, and I carry him this, or I help him along this way. You're so tall, my feet don't even touch the ground. <laughs> do you want me to carry you, or do you want me to crouch? What's easier? <laughs> easier. My feet are just like hanging. <laughs> I uh, I just I just pick him up. Like, just carry him, like, uh, you know, like a, like, princess style or whatever. Farewell. Yeah. Like, hurry. Oh, my God. And, like, what's ahead of us? This is, like, a, a burial pit? Um, the tradition of, um, Kapustan is to, um, bury the dead in upraised, like, they're put upright and clay is packed around them and that's kind of like their coffin jesus fuck do i see stony or um, are they like already clayed in you see gruntle and you see a procession of what appears to be his followers carrying her body towards what looks like it's prepared for her jesus fuck i and... walk as best as i can that way and i'm like Stop! Stop this madness! How long has it been? Ozo. I'm sorry. How I long has it been? Two days. Well, we're like a day and a half. Leave her with me. We should, and I say to Gruntle, like, can you have a moment to say his goodbyes at least? I will not that say goodbye. Cool. Sorry, Azo, but I don't think that. I can do it. I need a diamond. Do what? I can bring her back. I need a diamond, a big one. I don't care what he does. Over. And he punches the prince in the face, knocks him over, and rips a diamond right out of his crown. Runs oh, over to you. What and the people fuck? begin, like, tackling him onto the crown. Um, um, uh, I take it, but I have to go touch Stony, And it takes a long time to do this. Alright, fuck it. I'll take you. He I, like, orders up. people to, like, run off with their body. <laughs> you guys can run after her. They're all going on Gruntle right now. Thanks, Gruntle! <laughs> oh, he's God. getting like, Bring carried her back away. To me. And he's like... He's laughing maniacally the whole time, and he's just like, ah, 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 like super Okay, happy. Just, Ivar is like, okay, Gruntle just suddenly went crazy, but whatever. The prince so, guy gets up, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Bring me he... her! Um, you guys run. And 
you hide out in a nearby house. I need to rest, but I can bring her back. I've seen it done before. I can do it. I know I can. Oh, there's like a bed. What if you can't? I must try. What if you... All right. And then back to Viso, who regained her composure and went to go see what's up, finds Pigu alone and is like, where did Ivar and Azo go? And I'm just like, what? I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking to anyone. I, um, yeah, I... Okay. <laughs> and she's just gonna continue walking. <laughs> she does a big commotion. Back to Pigu's conversation. She totally got sidebarred with that. I don't know, actually. I got all the information I need from my conversation. Oh, okay, okay. So then that was done with... Okay, cool. I'm going to be, like, knocked out of it by Viso and being like, oh, wait, they've moved? What? Follow after. Well, you see there's a big commotion. Viso's going to be like, what happened? Some mortal sort of trick apparently punched the prince in the face. Ripped a diamond from his crown, gave it to some guy who ran off with the body of some lady. Whole town, whole city's on high alert looking. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I don't really care, though. I'm alive. City's liberated. We're alive, guys. Who gives a fuck about the. Eh, alright. That's fine by me. Right? Uh, Visa's gonna be like... Just kinda... Sniffing around. What you sniffing for, Visa? Ivara. I'm imagining... Viso like sniffing around like uh like one of those bloodhounds like yeah, that. Just blood <laughs> Literally what you do. Oh, on like hands and hands and knees, do you like <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what she's doing. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. No, 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 I don't smell them. <laughs> I um I, I picture Ivara's lance in my mind and cast a look in that way. And so I'll just be like, follow me, so I can find. <laughs> Over here? Yeah, this this away. In there? No. He's <laughs> just like opening doors. In that? In there? In there? In there? No, I better. I know. I like. I can feel where it is, right? With the way the spell is, so I go into the right door. Where also? What are you doing here? Who are these people? He's saying goodbye to Stony. No, wait, wait, wait. He's got a diamond and he's saying goodbye to Stony. I don't I don't know. I thought he was burying it. I don't know this magic shit. <laughs> he has a diamond though, right? Yeah. They ripped it out okay, of I'm gonna go watch. Uh, this can... Gruntle ripped it. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> hey buddy. What you do? He has the moon pool of Drake, and you will refer to him as such. I'm like on oh, my on my, my knees in like a praying position, and I am it's just stalwart. <laughs> I don't respond to Pigu at all. But yeah, hey, this, you guys this is gonna take me here. nine hours. 
<laughs> this is going to be a significant amount of time. I was like, do you guys have any drinks or anything? N no. You suck. <laughs> she walks away. Do you so have healing potion? Ah, uh, that'll... That won't do it. We should keep those. He's focusing. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a tiny hut around us. Just to keep him safe. Okay. <laughs> Can Vara like come up and be like knock knock? You're gonna open up the door and you're gonna find like a force field wall. Oh, I'm not allowed in. I mean, if you're in while I'm casting it, so do you do this within the first 10 minutes? Okay. Okay, as Ryan's long as like, you're in while I'm casting So, divide, it takes me 10 minutes to set this thing up, so that if you come in, then you can be part of our little group. Fuck yeah, I don't want to be hanging around all these posers. Uh, you can come watch us. He's just going to be casting the spell for a while. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just, like, praying. I'm not saying anything. I'm just, like, kneeling beside the bed, like, eyes closed, hands together. So, about eight hours go by, and then you hear a little rappy rap rap at the door. Oh, um, also, uh, during those eight hours... Is, is there anything shiny in, in the house? Give me a perception. I can see Pigu, like, pressing his nose up against the, the tiny hut wall. Like, oh, I can, you can leave and come back into the tiny hut. This is just no, what I picture, no. though. Could you imagine? He's got, like, his nose pushed up against the glass looking for things outside of the tiny hut. But I guess uh, do I find there. anything? Um, anyways, uh, eight hours goes by, and then there's a knock at the door, so you have one hour left on your spell, right? Me, no. I so would be able to cast my spell left. now. Oh, okay. It takes one hour to cast this spell. Okay. Well, anyways, Viso's gonna turn around and be like, and there's gonna be a knock at the door, and it's gonna be like, excuse me, kobold? Uh, is is the master of the house here? Fiso master here. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay, pardons. Um, we are currently looking for some ne'er do wells who assault the prince. Oh, that awful. Fiso don't think that good at all. No, no ne'er do wells here. No, Fiso think you better look somewhere else. <laughs> oh, she rolled a 10. Oh, fucking thank God. Damn! Um, not sorry to have bothered you. Please have a good day. Yep, okay, bye now. See? Be so take care. Yep, yep. Barely. That was the luckiest <laughs> for you guys ever. The best crit fail ever. I'm sorry. Oh. I start yeah. prepping oh, the body it. now. My tiny... I reset up Tiny Hut. And I started prepping the body. Um, and it takes me one hour to cast this spell. Oh, shit. Yeah, you... Totally raised dead. He is. Oh! Does it work on both of them? <laughs> yeah, that's the real. I'll cast it twice if I have to, but we're gonna have to go punch <laughs> another prince. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna right, say I'm yes, because sure this would get way too complicated and dark if not. <laughs> She's fucking stillborn. Uh, Especially since you have to touch the creature. She she immediately shoots up and grabs her stomach and goes like... <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> she, she sees a passed out Azo and Higu and Ibarra is in a hut. She's very confused and she pulls out her rapier and so that you guys kind of scared. She's like, what the fuck? I was dead. <laughs> was dead? Yeah. Also brought you back to life. She she drops her her rapier and she kind of like goes to him and starts like slapping his face and like kissing and telling him to get up. Like, and she oh, like, oh. <laughs> Pigu, we gotta go. And I pick up Pigu and I like take him with me. They're about to bone. <laughs> it's funny because I was going to leave anyways, but like you just picked me up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fuck it. It's, hey, you're still hey, it. <laughs> You don't want to be it's on still- my bad side. It's still like, it suddenly just gets really intense, and it's like, wow, okay, Pigu, I need you over here for a second. <laughs> I was going to come over here for a second anyway. Like, I just need an excuse to leave. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick and pick me up next time. Like, okay, don't I'm pick sorry. me up. That's- okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No you should be sorry. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> I don't know. You never know have this gonna... issue again. Well, no. But if you're gonna throw a tantrum, I I may just do it. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna look her straight in the eye. Don't do that. <laughs> Roll an intimidation. As that with his weird fucking lizard eyes. Uh, is he, are we contesting, or is that... You can if you so choose. Oh, but he's a No, Ivara's not trying to... <laughs> Ivara's not trying to intimidate him. She's like, okay, I'm sorry, dude. Chill out. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you can just humor me. Like, that's clearly not intimidating. <laughs> she's like, you know what? We got off on a, we got off on a bad start, Piggy. I'm sorry. That wasn't the best way to handle it. I'm gonna harumph into a different room. Drama queen. Azo and Stony. She's crying, being. I thought I lost you. I died. I don't know what's going on. How did you bring me back? I'm so happy After to see you. She treated him like shit. That's exactly what I say to her. <laughs> <laughs> We're Wait, just having what? a ball fest in the back room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I was angry because you got me pregnant, and then I wasn't. I was confused and scared, and to be distant. That would help me deal with it, but it didn't. There you go. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, she 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 happy you bet. But she thinks you need to like retire. You definitely need to rest. I did. I'd give you my gold if I had any, but unfortunately, it's all gone. See, that's why women forwardly. I've got like gold save. I can retire. Where, where will you go? Things are over. When things are over for you, Ozzy. This is. I've always. I will return to you. Uh, while he's like... doing that, um, Ivara has like a bit of like 
loincloth or whatever that's like hanging off of her like just by her legs or whatever she's gonna like tear off like a strap or whatever like just a big strip yeah uh and i'm gonna wait for Ozzo to come back in okay um well i think they're done saying okay everyone's like ooing and eyeing the fact that Ozzo I'm exhausted. I can barely stand. I'm stumbling. Uh, Stony, you want to take the lead on that one? Yeah, she's definitely supporting. By the way, and I like tuck like a bit of the, or like the bit of uh, scrap or whatever into his hand or whatever, and I just kind of like tap the side of my face where I'm just indicating like hey that's for your eye in case you want like a semi like not a great looking eye patch but like you know something to cover up if if it's still bleeding or something <laughs> i use minor illusion to make a googly eye on the eye patch <laughs> i like tie it around my head but like you can tell like i'm smelling something real funky <laughs> man i've been wearing the same clothes for like two years <laughs> she's like i cleaned it it's clean like i cleaned it but it's you know like i was trying to you know i went down and i got fucking unconscious i was a little sweaty sorry i said <laughs> I'd like, thank, thank you. What's well, next for us? Well, we gotta make it back uh, now. And I don't think we'll be too welcome by the guards, but yeah, be so if you want to... Uh, they were the ones carrying Stony. of Trake, sworn to the mortal sword of Trake, where Treach has died and now ascended God. A new god of war has arisen. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know if I should be afraid of you guys or thank you, but we should uh, go find Gruntle. Stony, you've got one person you need to talk to before you leave. He was taken by the Vidra most likely to the Thrall for judgment. I am sure that Wrath Trake will have him. Oh god. We need to hurry. Alright. Ivaro will uh, say, like, why don't I walk ahead? And you guys hang back a bit. And in case they recognize me, then you guys can keep continuing. Well, <laughs> I'm just gonna so say I'm like everybody, a good... everybody make um two stealth check on their way. Can we persuade our way past the guards? If you so, you get caught. Oh. Viso, but Viso wasn't there, so Viso, like, is kind of incognito anyway. It's only really, um, Ozo and Ivara. And Piku. Yeah, Piku was Piku hiding was around a corner. Uh, Ozo, that Ted is going to be odds even. I pick odds. You, uh, you pick odds? Okay. Even. Hey, Viso rolled that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Viso! <laughs> you know what's up. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, some guards are going to approach you and kind of be like, aren't you... You look familiar. I think you're the guy we're looking for. 
that's right. I have evidence that Gruntle is under false imprisonment. This lady is alive. But that guy was taken away for punching the prince in the face. Had nothing to do with this woman. He was going to bury her. He stopped the madman. He did nothing wrong I, but defend the living. Uh, I oh, oh that's that's a bit of a pickler for <laughs> please roll a persuasion check <laughs> or deception whichever you prefer. Yeah, no, he's like, uh, you, you should probably go to the thrall then. They kind of like escort you there. Perfect. Much haste. I fear we're already too late. So is that where we're heading? We're going to uh, meet the thrall? You guys get out there, and you guys get there, and waiting outside the door is already Gruntle with Wrath Drake. And Wrath Drake is like kind of yelling at him about like godly stuff, and you can see that Gruntle is just rolling his eyes, like, I don't. Uh... Gruntle, my friend, look who it is! And he turns and sees you, and and he runs up and pushes past you to Stony and embraces her, and, her hug. and and she then punches him in the face, and he's like, "Ow, what was that for?" And she's like, "They told me what you did. You went all crazy and started killing everyone just because I got myself killed. Fucking mad. Told you not to do stupid stuff like that." And she starts like hitting him. And you! What the fuck happened to your eye? You never told me about that. Still getting over the whole I was dead. I like shun away, like I'm not ready to talk about it. I'm Who not did ready that to talk about it? <laughs> You're alive, well, that's all that matters. The... With with this little happy reunion of everybody, I think we're gonna call it here tonight. <laughs> We did it. Super best friends high five. <laughs> yeah! We all jump up in the air. I think this might have been one of the first times I've seen you guys actually all work together as a group or something. Well, like, we, we didn't do anything, really. Like, we... Well, sorry, like... Like, Ozzo saved himself, so we it's... We didn't rescue Ozzo. No, I mean, so, I mean the whole getting Stony back alive and shit. That was like that was mostly Ozzo. Uh, Again, well, that was you, mostly Ozzo. You shielded him with so with so you could stay concentrated. Ivara helped him run away, and Viso got the guards to fuck off. I think it was a group okay. effort. Okay. All right. I and agree. I mean, like, outside of combat. <laughs> we had some good RP moments. Like, actually, the whole <laughs> session was RP. Tonight was very RP heavy, and Matt, I'm sorry I put your character through the fucking ringer. I apologize for that. It's it better him than me. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> fucking being you. <laughs> it, it was gonna be <laughs> you. I like how Pingu was just good. like, he's gone. I'm gonna go do my thing. <laughs> In all honesty, though, though, like I think, I think his was he he was dead set on that. He knew what he wanted, and he got it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very driven PC, <laughs> just running around the world like you got. Some power. But yeah, I'll uh. Oh, fuck. Actually, seeing as next Monday is the 23rd, do you guys still want to do a game that day? See, next day is Christmas Eve, or are people... 
Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, not I'm free. Sure. I'm not sure yet. You're not sure yet? Well, well, we'll, we'll reconvene in a few days or whatever. Like, Saturday I'll ask again, kind of see what's up. But um, okay. I'd like to do one on the 30th, though, if that's cool with everybody. Um, I probably won't be able to do the 30th. Oh, okay. 